it really is a small little entrance and it looks very scary. You're dragging. We have no idea why two engines would squeal and both cut out. What is that? What is happening? What is that? I'm Cindy, and this is Shell. We sold everything and set off on an adventure, living and cruising on a boat named Seashell. Click subscribe and sit back as we show you that it's possible for all of us to live an extraordinary life. We're leaving Rock Sound today. We've been at Rock Sound for a long time, yeah. A week and a half, uh, and the weather has wasn't that great anyway, so uh, we did lots of work. Um, and yeah, now we're ready to go. We're going to Governor's Harbor. Our visit to Eleuther has been pretty epic so far. If you haven't seen the other episodes, you should check them out at this link here. There are three things that can happen to cruisers that turn perfect cruising into an inconvenience at best, or sheer terror at worst. As the saying goes, cruising is hours of boredom punctuated by moments of sheer terror. Though that may be slightly exaggerated, there are three things that usually take cruisers off track. Storms, injuries or other health-related happenings, and mechanical failure. Little did we know that within the next little while, all three were going to happen. We have arrived in Governor's Harbor, and I just want to say it's a nice feel here. It's Sunday. You probably can't hear, but uh, the church is, uh, had their service, and the tunes just kind of travel down through the... Uh, the anchorage and it's uh, I don't know it's nice it's nice it's very nice we're gonna go uh, maybe have dinner somewhere take a walk through town My meal was awesome. I had like a chickpea Mediterranean salad. It was great. Balsamic uh, vinegar, lots of veggies and stuff. But Sheldon may have had the best meal he's had in the Bahamas. Curry grouper. I don't know. I don't remember anything I've had. It's good. No. Uh -huh. yeah. Curry grouper. Yeah. He's licking the plate dry. Yes, you were. Thumbs up for the Buccaneer. For sure. With a full belly, we head back to the boat to catch up on work. But of course, not before Cindy feeds the cats. <laughs> Governor's Harbor provides great protection from the north to the southwest. I wouldn't want to be here in a west to northwest blow. However, if you're in a jam, there might be some reprieve on the south side of Governor's Harbor around Laughing Bird Key. Across the ferry dock is the government building where cruisers can get their visas extended, which we did here. 
When taking a walk through town, make sure you walk by the Pink Library. And the grounds at St. Patrick's Anglican Church are interesting. They say you should also try the fish fry, but unfortunately, we didn't get a chance. We are trying to go to Pink I suppose it'd be pink sand, but French leave beach and just do a quick lunch, go to the sweet and savory, get a burrito that we saw yesterday. And the weather is looking a little bit iffy. Iffy. So we're hoping it doesn't rain on us. We got a couple of hours and uh, then we have to come back and, and do more work. He's from Florida. Did you ask him where he's from? Yeah, he said Florida. <laughs> hey buddy. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Good throw shell then. He likes to back down on the anchors. Like for a while, like all the time. Back, 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 back. You know, we never question, are we anchor? You know, we sleep like babies. Don't we, Sheldon? We do. Yeah. And we can see the water. We're gonna make it. Will we get rained on? Don't know. Don't know. Very possible. It's a bit of walk. We're in on our lunch break now at least an hour. We had to wait 25 minutes for the food. It's about a 25 minute walk. And, uh, and I wanna, wanna walk the beach. So they do say this one is a pink sand beach. Um, it's not the one in Harbor Island though, that's really popular. But um, I'm very excited to see if it's got the hue. Well, uh, this is awesome. Here's the sand. See the pink in the sand? The dots of the pink. It is indeed a pink sand beach. It is powder. Oh, it's beautiful. Not a bad place for a picnic. No. I mean, we got uh, shade, we got somewhere to eat, and it's nice. The beach is, the beach is pretty, uh... And the view. And we got a veggie, vegan, um, burrito. Looks good. Wow. The, the uh, wedges are really good. They got like a little bit of a spice to them. Let us know. Thumbs up. Yep. We've got a threatening rain behind us all day. So, anyway, it's a beautiful beach. Cindy says she sees pink. It is pink. A uh, fun fact about what makes the sand pink. It is because it's little organisms or shells or something, I think. But I'll get the rights on it and let you know for sure. I mean, uh I was looking for a definitive answer to this. I mean, you were right on. But you don't know anything. That's great. Yeah, no, I was going to look it up and let everybody know afterwards. All right, good. going to do a voiceover. There you go. Voiceover happening. I'll go get a picture of how pink it is down here. It's okay. way pinker. Voiceover happening now. <laughs> I was right. The sand is pink because of tiny single-celled organisms. Name something I will not attempt to pronounce. They have a reddish shell and grow beneath the coral reefs. When they die, they wash onto the beaches, turning the sand pink. And then we see way off in the distance a line, a line of rain. We'll I don't know if we're gonna make it or not, Cindy. Sunset 
and Dolphins. Doesn't get any better than this. Can't see the cut coming up on it. You gotta be 90 degrees to it in order to see it. It's I supposed know, to I be. don't know where we're gonna anchor in there. There's horn balls and there's debris on the bottom. So we'll scope it out when we get inside. Oh, well, we are going into Hatchet Bay for about a week. We got some winds that are gonna clock around, uh, so we're just gonna go in and work and check out Hatchet Bay and wait for our next window to head a little bit more north. But it really is a small little entrance and it looks very scary. are not grasping at anything. It's just, just drag, drag, drag. You're dragging. And all the books say it's poor holding here in Hatchet Bay. So we're gonna go try the other side, um, more north, and see if that works. So this looks a little more lighter. We're hoping it's not as grassy. Success! So Sheldon's backing down with two engines on that. So um, we know for sure we're not going anywhere in uh, the blow uh, that's coming in. And uh, yeah, we're quite confident. We sleep really well on anchor um, and that's what we do back down two engines and uh yeah we're good i hope we don't drag now because i just did this we're settled in we're all hooked up we're gonna go have lunch and hopefully fill up some water neat boat There's food here. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're right off the dock here. We can come on in the bar. You can close it off the side. Yeah. I used to be more when they first sent to me. Oh, yeah. What's going on a special mission I see you doing here? Control room three? Well, you know, I just Folks like to do the YouTube. They, they use it YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. So what's the name I'm of the place? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a national recording artist. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Do you know I tell you what I am in? What? Freedom Adventures. Freedom is the Lutra. That's what Lutra means, freedom. Somebody was supposed to come, they'd be on YouTube. I don't know what their name was. Oh, but they, it was, wasn't us. It ain't yours, it's yours. I forget to say the people are, okay? Yeah. Folks, when they do, they just give me a card and put it up oh, here. Okay. But I, 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 um, I also perform to folks like you guys when you come and I'll do a song for you all. So what is the name of the place for us? The place is named, you've recording, right? Yep. yep. Farrington Bodus Haven. She's no a, other island will keep you smiling right. like a Luthra. Okay, yes. Yeah. And Emmett Farrington, yeah. yes. The rubber band man. I love it. You answer the question, pineapple, I mean, the Luthra means freedom. What, you know, you know what the pineapple means, it's pineapple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, hospitality, right. maybe? Hospitality yeah. is pineapple. Use one more word again. 
Yeah. Malcolm. It's a Malcolm. Yeah, Lord, I didn't keep you smiling like you, Luke. Okay. I forget. Okay. Okay, y'all. Ready to go? We're ready to go. going to put out a water hose for us and give us a little bit of water. Look at this guy helping us out. See Thank you, Emmett. No problem. Barrington's Boaters Haven. We got the convenience store, laundry, uh, drinks, a snack if you need it, and he will give you water. How hot are you showing on a range of one to five? One to five? Yeah. Six. We're going for a dive. Are we going for a dive? Snorkel. Well, we're going to jump into water. On the bite of Eleuthera. Eleuthera means freedom, I learned today. And uh, awesome. We're all about that. We're all about that. Yeah. Freedom. At this point, my ear is in extreme pain. I can't equalize properly, and I can only go down 7 to 10 feet before the pain starts. Hopefully, this is not a long term problem. beautiful day in the Bahamas, probably a perfect day. Get up, do a little bit of work, run in, have a bite to eat, meet some beautiful people, and then go for a snorkel out in a bite of the loose one. I think it was great. It was a nice swim. Yeah. 
My ear is better now that I'm not in the water. 30 feet down. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll need to check into that. I'll check into that. Yeah. Somewhere sometime. We spent another seven days in Hatchers Bay. We had some of the worst weather and winds we have ever had in the Bahamas. Rain almost nonstop, thunderstorms, and wind over 50 knots. Two sailboats dragged across the harbor, and it even tore into our front window cover. Our anchor held firm, proving that there is good holding in Hatchers Bay. You just have to search around a little and don't settle for a mediocre anchor set. We were certainly glad when the weather lifted to allow us to move on. Just a quick update. Uh, so we left our anchorage in Hatchets Bay a few minutes ago, 20 minutes out, and uh, both of our engines are squealing at us. So now we've had to drop anchor in the middle of, I don't know where we are. And uh, yeah, just look at this. So we don't know what's wrong. Um, we have no idea why two engines would squeal and both cut out. Got no words. Hot as the fire down here. So we're on the move. I don't know what it is. We, you, Taking a loose ground to the ground wire from the port engine or the starboard engine was slightly loose, tighten it up and it seems fine. And I cleaned all the negative negatives on the battery, that kind of thing. So change of plans. Change of plans, we're gonna figure this out. I gotta trace down all of the uh, wiring. Yeah, so we're not going to the cove right now. We need to... Um, I'm going to see if I can get through current cut. I'm going to check for slack water. Oh, there. I don't I don't feel we're I'm prepared. I'm going to head for the glass window first, though, in case uh, this happens again. So we go to the glass window. If we stay there the night, that's fine as well, if the current is not appropriate. Right. Are you seeing anything? Because you look... look um, no. No, everything looks okay. That's not the cove. We're not going to the cove. We're going to go on. And they said, uh, like, no chance of rain today. The thunderstorm risk is gone. But, uh, like, today we, we got this black cloud following us. <laughs> Figuratively and... What do you mean? We got, you know? Literally. Anyway, we're going to anchor by the glass window. Yeah. And just so I can do get out of the swell and out of the sound or out of the uh, bank offshore and get into a cove so I can do some more investigation. Yeah. Make sure there's really nothing wrong. We have nothing happening right now. Maybe it was just cleaning the terminals and that loose wire on the on the starboard engine. Yeah. But I just say, you know, you get up and you think you're going to have this lovely day. You know, we're going to the cove resort for lunch. Maybe check out the glass window, the queen's baths, and just have a great Saturday. It's Saturday for us. So it's like one of those days that we get to just have fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then you got to drop anchor, two engines gone, you drop anchored and it's a swell and then you're going back and forth and the then this rain is following us and you can feel the wind picking up. And So yeah, that is boating. What are you doing, Sheldon? Trying to find some sand. Our anchor's not, our anchor's not in. Our anchor's not in. 
Okay, so we had a little bit of trouble anchoring today. Um, it just kept uh, click, 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 coming out of the rocks, and then the chain would jump, and it was like, it seems, it's really rocky here. So Sheldon is looking for sand, so that maybe we can go and try to get a sand hole and uh, be more secure. Our anchor's not even in, it's, it's uh, sideways. And he's gonna try to change the zinc as well today. All he's thinking about is electrical, those engines, shorting out, I've heard, so that's it. Any sand? Nope. No sand. So what are we going to do? There's about three inches of sand over just rock. Completely. Everywhere. Everywhere. I can't find a sand hole anywhere. So this is not a great anchorage. It looks nice and clear. Oh, the visibility is excellent compared to what we've been in. Oh, okay. But, uh... Are you still going to change your zinc right now? Zinc is done. Oh, the zinc is done? Yeah. Oh. Looks oh. way better. Yeah. Uh, that's the old zinc over there. Oh, okay. We got to figure out where to go. What do you mean? We're pulling anchor? It's not in. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to sleep now when it's like that. Really? Yeah. So we're gonna pull anchor and go where? Like I don't know same yet. area? I don't know. Maybe if we go out a little further in deeper water, maybe there'll be some sand. I don't know. Huh. You can see the anchor down there, it's a big dark spot. Yeah. It's just lying on the side. Usually you can't even see the anchor, it's buried in sand. Yeah. Anyways, we're pulling anchor again. Yep, it's up. This day is one of those days where you never know what's gonna happen. You never. <laughs> we love it though, we love it. It's part of the whole adventure, you know. Ah, that's good. Sheldon's doing his back down and it's all good. We are hooked. Both engines, I can hear them. Look at that. I'm gonna dive to anchor, gotta be sure. It dug right in right away, I backed down in reverse, but, and so I think it's good, but I'll take you guys along just to check. Show you my dirty bottom too. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like sitting back, uh, just trying to relax a little bit. And now it's this. What is that? What is happening? I don't know. What is that? I mean, we won't sleep the night like this. Where is it coming?
coming from? I have no idea. So now it's stuck. Okay. Like this is the weirdest day. This might be one of the weirdest days we've ever had aboard Seashell, and I'm not even joking. Like weird. Uh oh, here it goes again. There's no, there's no high water. No high water. I hope not. High water alarm would be. High water alarm would be emergency. So, if it's the high water alarm, it's faulting. This is no high water. You fixed it, Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, we got to get to that dock tomorrow and find out what in the world this is. Yeah, so we've uh, just called, like, a few seconds ago. We called the uh, Spanish Wells. Uh, there's a dock there for $25. I'm going to have to take this off. It's, unless it's the Fireboy suppression system here. Okay, and what would that mean? There's no fire. Engine shutdown system. It shuts down the engines when it thinks there's a fire. So the glass window is just right here. Lots of people come and visit it. Uh, we've seen school buses. Everybody's coming to visit this. Will we get to go over and see this? I don't know. If it was a high water alarm, a high water alarm would not cut the engines out. It's the worst thing you can do. Right. You're going to want to use the engines to probably suck water out of the engine room. Right. But the fire suppression system will shut the engines down if it senses there's a fire. Right. So maybe there's a short in the fire suppression system. If that there happens when we're going through current cut and the current is flowing. Oh my goodness. Now I'm super scared. I've been super scared of current cut like all day. And that's why we're not gone through current cut because I'm like, we cannot go through current cut because we never check. We never, we weren't, we're not prepared. Right. You want to do it at um, high tide or whatever. Or uh, slack water, sorry. But the engine's cutting off in current cut. I would be... I would say I'll be praying the whole time through current cut tomorrow. This is what happens when he's thinking. There's no response. This happens often. Thinking. Yeah, he thinks for a long time, and you think you asked him a question, and he'll be like, like there'll be no answer, and he'll be it like. Be the choir <laughs> I wonder how I could disengage it temporarily. Right. I just read about some of the self-tests that you can do on the system, on the fire suppression system. At the extinguisher, there's a switch. If you disconnect one of those wires, the audible alarm will go off and the engines will not operate. And then you should see the red discharge light come on, and you should be able to flick the override switch and turn your engines on in case you need to do so in a crowded water. So what if one of those connections are loose or corroded on the extinguisher, on that switch? Then, every now and then, you might get the thing going off and the engine's cutting out. So right now I'm going down the engine room, checking the extinguisher and that switch, make sure the wires are, are connected and are in good shape. Two, two wires here, they're connected here. They're pretty solid, I can't see them. There's no connectors. It's connect plugged right into here, so I can't really tell. It's 3 p.m. on our Saturday, and um, yeah, progress is not a lot. We got the weather, 0% chance rain. We're thinking 100% chance rain. And we're just going to continue to try to 
figure out what's going on. Uh, so engines are started again. We're at 4.30 in the day and Sheldon, I guess the uh, forecast has changed to a chance of thunderstorms and uh, with gale force winds. So this is not protected. If a thunderstorm came in, uh, we would get banged about a bit. Um, right now it's zero wind. I mean, the sun came out, we had some rain. Um, but uh, he wants to do the current cut now, today. Supposed to be slack tide right now. Fingers crossed. I'm not comfortable with gale force winds possible off of this bank. We'll get chances five, we'll get five are or six footers in here and it'll be crazy. We're almost up to current cut and uh, I'm a little nervous on it because just, I don't know, I'm reading the books and it's like low tide, don't go at low tide and I don't know. Anyways, we're at low tide um, and it just is supposed to rip through it and the engine's cut off again. So now we did the override with this, uh, what is that, the fire boy business? Yeah. Sean feels like we're fine. so. Get through here, no problem. Yeah, as long the current as is not that bad right now. He thinks the current is not that bad right now. I'm going to be so happy tonight when we get settled away. And you know what? It's like one of those days we may never get settled away. We may go over here now and there'd be no anchorage. Right there at the narrow spot, I'd say she was six knots against us. Wow. So anchor time number four. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end this vlog here. So we're yep. anchored now on the west side of current cut, and it's very calm. No so, swell, no nothing. So the latest news is that, you know, we've missed the restaurants we wanted to go to, we've missed the glass window, but I really think we've had this problem since we bought the boat. We pulled out of New Bern, North Carolina years ago, because I believe that switch was on override since we pulled out of there. So, and I didn't know what override or the other one meant. And I've always been meaning to learn the fire suppression system and, and understand what all of it means and how to service it and stuff. I haven't, I, it's bad on me that I've left that on my list and I haven't done it yet. But anyway, after researching today, to know that override doesn't shut the engine off. I think last week in Hatchet Bay, I hit the switch when I was walking by it or I was reaching in a cabin and I've done it before and I've always switched it back to override because that's where it was when I bought the boat. I thought that was its default position. So I remember hitting it or hitting something and I, I never checked that switch. So I think it went to normal mode and we've had that problem yeah. ever and since leaving Hatch and Bay. 
it just cut out after 20, 30 minutes underway. And like, it's a little nerve wracking coming through that current cut. You need your engines. Oh yeah, if you, that you didn't, can't if mine just cut it then, we would have been screwed. Yeah. My next thing on the list is to get that thing looked at when we're back in the U.S. and get it serviced, get it working, get it put on so it can go on normal, and that's it. Yeah. Anyway, right. that is it from us. We are settled away. This has not been a normal search and pursue shells. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. If you like that video, press like. If you're new here, subscribe. And uh, we got a Patreon page, too. Yeah. Go check that out if you want. Thanks, check us out on Instagram. Everything. Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyway. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. And long may your big jib <laughs> drop. Oh, at the island, they'll keep you smiling, like he do drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, oh, da, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, my, 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 my. See ya.